This is cute. <laughs> this is cute. And that's how you know your man loyal. If your man will cheat on his barber, I don't know, sis. You might need to check that phone log. Imagine $600 to $4,400 in a few weeks. Like, literally a few weeks. I've got 30 minutes if you want to spill your mind. Give me all your reasons to why I should take my time. Used to have forever, but you never cared that much. I just want to first welcome you to this week's weekly vlog it's gonna be kind of a weekend vlog because honestly this week was crazy okay it was real crazy so your girl is just really getting on this camera but it's after work um, just kind of want to get you caught up had a really good week traded did my job spend time with my family today is my oldest son's birthday so happy birthday Arius Arius is 23 years old you guys I have a 23 year old can you believe it like wow oh my gosh <laughs> so you do the math i am 40 arius is 23 so that gives you a, a guess or the number as to when i had my baby but i'm really happy for him i'm happy it's his birthday he's in chicago with his girlfriend enjoying himself he actually did this thing where on this friday whatever I don't really even know the reason why, but a thousand people met at this location in Chicago, right? So they all meet up and they jump in the lake. Y'all, Lake Michigan, I think it's Lake Michigan right there. Yeah, it's, that ain't nothing to play with. You could definitely get swept away with doing that. So I was, I told him before, I was like, you need to be extra careful. Cause to me, that is so scary. Like you could really get hurt. And he told me that when he went he jumped in there, he was with his friend. He's like, the line to get out was so long. He said he was starting to get tired, like paddling in the water. And he ended up having to call his friend who had already pulled himself up, like, come and get me, come help me. He was like, Ma, I was so scared. He's like, man, I could see. He said if he was out there in that lake for more than five minutes, he's like, I definitely would have been gone. And he said that when you jump in, it's so cold that your body just like freezes up and you forget how to swim. So I know I definitely would not have survived that. I, I will not do anything like that. I'm cool. Even if I had a life jacket, I probably wouldn't have did that. But you know, good to him, good for him. He will remember that for the rest of his life, being brave at 23 years old and doing things that when he gets to my age, when you really realize like life <laughs> is too precious to be playing around with. Yeah, I'm not doing that. But I'm just out here drinking some, um, some of this wine I used to drink. I actually used to talk about this a lot. If you've been around for a minute, you know why I quit talking about this wine as much. But tonight I was trying to pick a wine and I decided to go with this one because I really wasn't feeling like the one I've been drinking. And I haven't had wine in quite some time. So I said, I'm going to go back to Diamond and just, you know, have an old thing. Switch it up just a little bit. Mm. So today I had someone come over to look at our house and just figure out like what are all the things, like the list of things that we need to do. Cause I already kind of know myself. Um, first, the flooring. I gotta get this flooring done. I've been talking about it too long. Y'all already know. Um, I also need to have the basement. Like we gotta get the basement repainted and also have the popcorn on the ceiling be redone. Because at one point the house had an issue where the pipes in the wall, now this is so weird. The pipes in the wall in the basement were like sweating and they sweated so bad that you could see like a wet spot in the wall. And I was worried that it was gonna be like some type of a leak or something like that. So we had this plumber come, they cut the whole thing back and discovered that it wasn't anything serious. But at that point you got a big hole in the wall, right? 
So we had to have that all replaced, put new um, plaster and all, whatever you call the, the wall, um, up to like get it all fixed. So now that area needs to be repainted. We gotta have the um, popcorn stuff put back on the ceiling and just get it like totally ready. We had a, a light in the basement that was out, so the dude came and fixed that light and fixed the um, outlet down there because the light and the outlet for some reason had gone out together. So it's just like a lot of little things that we've kind of been procrastinating getting done that I'm just like, whatever, I'm just gonna get done. I also am really curious what the value of our home is we have paid it down pretty significantly since purchase but at the same time i just want to know like what is it worth like what could we really get for this house if we decided to get out of it with the way the market is right now and with the fed raising rates i don't think they're going to let up on raising rates i would not be shocked if rates go up significantly before it's over like if you've been following they've been raising rates and we just got unemployment numbers this week the unemployment numbers were good and when you're in a what would you call it an inflationary period where inflation is running crazy when they raise rates unemployment should be a symptom right so if you have unemployment going down while you're continuing to raise rates it's basically telling you like nothing's changing the more people have jobs the more people have money the more demand is going to be out there which means inflation supply and demand if your supply doesn't change and you have higher demand prices go up so i think that things are about to get real crazy it's a very unique situation it's not like 2008 2009 but i say all that to say the more they raise rates the more pressure is on the housing market which makes houses and prices on of houses be a little bit less competitive or what would you say maybe even more competitive no less competitive I don't know the right way to say it oh my gosh those bugs are so loud there'll be less demand for homes basically as rates go up so we'll see how it goes but I was just really curious to see like what would the property be worth you know if that was something we decided to do which who knows if we're gonna do that but it's good to know so anywho that's kind of what I've been thinking about what's been on my mind um, oh, if you see my wig right here, <laughs> it's not glued down, so don't talk about me. I just have the wig on so I can talk to y'all and not be looking crazy. <laughs> mm. This is my first time in so long sitting out here on our porch. We have such a nice backyard. We should be out here all the time, and we just do not come out here enough. Like, this is really crazy. Uh, I'm happy to be out here and just be kind of enjoying it. I brought my fiddly figs out so that I could water them and just make sure they get a little bit of sunlight. These things need a lot of sunlight and I don't have any good place or we don't have any good place in this house to get direct sunlight throughout the day with the exception of this one freaking corner. So I brought them outside like little pets, you know, to get some sunshine and to water them and just make sure that they're happy because these things is big and they have big leaves and plants with big leaves need big sunshine you know what i'm saying and speaking of plants there was this lady i saw you guys on the news who had got caught stealing plants from a nursery she had stole over two thousand dollars worth of plants y'all two thousand dollars i'm like what did she take and then she had a pretty good disguise <laughs> her disguise was pretty good but what was crazy is they still figured out who it was so i was sitting here like how did they know like did they come to her house and like uh oh hold up okay <laughs> did they come to her house and like see all the plants and go yeah that's a the fiddly fig and that's a da -da -da. like is that how they realize like yes it's her and I was honestly like, you know what? I'm not going to say she's right, <laughs> but I definitely can understand. <laughs> like, can you believe that? $2,000 worth of plants. That is absolutely crazy. Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain wants you I've been hanging by myself Asking for help, but nothing seems to work on you 
wigless right now wait let me put my scarf on <laughs> let me put my scarf on real quick okay we're gonna do this i got this from kiss and i love it because when i'm trying to cover up my um my straight backs it just kind of makes it look a little more like it's on purpose <laughs> So anyways, good morning. Um, it's Saturday morning. I've just been up watching some YouTube. I caught up with Gina. I'm watching Amber Martin right now. I love Amber. I've been watching Amber for years. She's like little sister, but I just love her content. She seems so relatable and down to earth. I'm sure a lot of you guys know Amber. But yeah, just been catching up on some YouTube, relaxing, sleeping in, because I never get to sleep in. And it felt really nice. Like it was really, really nice. So wait, I want to turn my, my lights on do a little bit of aesthetic <laughs> you know i just i love the vibes when the when the lights are on but yeah i wanted to update you guys and tell you um wait it's not doing it's not working i wanted to update you guys though and tell you about my legs because i had told you about how my legs were swelling up and i really think it was due to the airplane because let me tell y'all i took that one water pill from my doctor like i had to take it my legs were getting to the point they hurt so bad and I just gave in I took the pill <coughs> excuse me and what was so crazy about it is I took the pill and it was like I could feel water moving in my legs like I'm not trying to sound dramatic but I could really feel the water and it was like it was moving through my legs y'all the water drained out my legs I went to the bathroom so much that night got it all out like my feet look like normal there was no water i couldn't push my finger like you you know how when you're swollen you put your finger on it and press down and then you take it away and you still see the mark from where you put your finger on yeah i would do that and it was gone so now my ankles look back to normal so i'm so happy i did it i messaged my doctor because we have my chart where you can like send your doctor a message and she had asked me for like an update after a week so i sent her the message and let her know that I look normal again <laughs> like my ankles are normal there's no swelling like I'm looking at it right now and they look like my my feet so thank you guys for all of the suggestions and everything the water pill worked I haven't had any swelling since even though I've been obviously still doing my work from home sitting down haven't really changed anything else in my lifestyle um, with the exception of trying to eat a little bit better but it was good so I'm back to normal so thank y'all for your thoughts and prayers and all that good stuff but um for the agenda today oh my gosh I got tore up too hold up y'all before I get into the agenda I was outside for that little bit of time yesterday and those mosquitoes ate me up I have bites everywhere even in the hot tub like I could hear them buzzing around me and I just was like let me keep these jets on because the jets kind of make the you know make it real difficult I think for them to swim because the air be moving but they tore me up last night oh my gosh <laughs> so anywho for the agenda for today I think I want to do a little bit of breakfast cooking I have a video to edit I also want to do some charting for the market next week and just kick it with the kids so that's kind of my agenda I think I'll be around the house most of the day and then Brian gets off work at 7 so Brian works Tuesday to Saturday yeah, he's Tuesday to Saturday, and then he gets Sunday and Monday off. So he works today till 7, but we'll kick it when he gets off of work this evening. So hope you guys are enjoying the vlog so far. And with that, let's get into this beautiful, beautiful freaking Saturday. <laughs> Living for weekends, wish 
wishing I could take a break from this world Running on a hamster wheel But searching for something I can't feel I just wanna Hey y'all, so it's been a little while since we talked earlier, but I am just about to put on some clothes for the day. Ooh, this smells good. I am wearing the Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid by Victor Golf. So we're gonna do a little clothing haul. Let me turn this music off though. So we're gonna do a little clothing haul. I ordered some clothes from a company called Cider. So this is my package. I kind of swore I ordered more stuff than what this bag seems like it has in it. So we'll see. <laughs> I know women's clothes, you know, can be squished real small, but this feels like a small package. Let's see though, let's see. Okay, so we have, oh, this is a lot. Okay, so there's five things here, three here, and then four, so that's nine pieces. That seems like a lot of pieces. Okay, so I'm gonna try to pair the pieces together so we can show them as outfits, but I saw them on Instagram, so I was actually scrolling Instagram story, and these pieces showed up, and I was like, those are cute. So this is what I got. This is the first piece, this shirt. Let me turn the brightness down just a pinch so y'all can see okay. Okay, so this is the first one. It looks cute. Hopefully y'all can see that. It's kind of like over one shoulder to the side. So let me lay this one down, see what goes with it. And then we have, and they come in these cute little bags. So this is kind of cute. Nice packaging, perfect for wigs. Hey baby, you need something? Oh yeah. Go ahead, you can run past. Go under, good job. <laughs> Okay, so then I got this one. I don't know how you wear this one. Isn't that cute? Yeah, that's really cute. All right. I think I spent 200 in total for all of these items. These look really nice for like a trip, resort wear, you know, dinner, stuff like that. So there's that. Okay, let me show you this. I can't remember if this is a dress or a skirt. Hold up. Oh, this is a dress. So that's really cute. That's fine, baby. Thank you. That's adorable. I can't wait to try that on. Now, I'm not going to steam everything to try it on, but I will, whatever I end up wearing. <laughs> we will steam our outfit for the day, but I like the materials. They don't feel super expensive but it's not cheap if that makes sense it's probably definitely like middle of the road but look at this skirt this is cute for sure needs to be steamed but very cute love it love it love it love it yeah there's a lot of pieces it didn't look like it in that bag <laughs> at all okay so then we have this very long pretty dress oh this is actually a pantsuit so it's got pants nice yeah these are pieces you for sure need a steamer for like you wouldn't want to put an iron to this stuff but you definitely would need a steamer like hands down and then we got some pants okay those are cute and then we have this top I like the material, feels good. It's a skirt. This is so cute. I guess I'll be pulling my steamer out <laughs> and getting busy. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff to steam. And then this is a skirt in another size medium. Got the, um. wait, let me see. Does it have a slit on the side? It does, so it's got the little slit on the side. You see that? That is cute. Everything just fell down. Okay, let me put on the first outfit. I'm gonna show you all these these um, fits real quick. I'm gonna try to go fast because I know I personally I love seeing outfits, but I hate when uh, clothing hauls 
are really drying out. So we're gonna make this real cute. We're gonna get to the point, okay? So outfit number one. Okay, this one, this is really cute. I love it. It feels so good on too. Oh my gosh, this is about to be my new favorite store. So I'm telling y'all, this is about to be y'all little secret, but I'm not telling nobody else because I don't want to be wearing the same thing as everybody else. <laughs> so this is number one. Love it, 10 out of 10. Okay, another outfit I love, but I have to give a disclaimer. I can't zip it by myself and I don't have anybody to help me. <laughs> so y'all just gotta look past the zipper, but let's look at the whole outfit because it's so cute. Oh my gosh, isn't this cute? I know you can't see the pants, but the pants are cute. Like this is adorable. Oh my gosh. I like this. This is about to be my new store. They're gonna have to give me a um a sponsorship because I wanna work with them. <laughs> I want all the pieces. These are so nice. Y'all. Okay, let's check out outfit, outfit number three. This is cute. <laughs> This is cute! Oh my gosh, I love it! I wish I had these pieces when I was in Jamaica because these would have been fire for that trip. Oh my goodness. But look at this skirt. Y'all see the skirt? Oh! <laughs> that is cute! Oh my gosh, I love it! Oh, I'm about to be on their web. I'm, I'm getting back on their website today. Y'all, this is cute. I hope y'all like this. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me try the next one because I still have three outfits to go. We're just gonna put the same shirt that I have on with a different pair of pants for this one because I have two outfits that I've paired and then I think this will go okay with the next skirt. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. All right, let's see. Oh yeah. This is cute. Hopefully you guys can see this. It's got the slit, okay. <laughs> really nice. It obviously needs to be steamed, but you get the point. This is nice, really, really nice. I like all the skirts. Like I could take every single one of their skirts. I love how feminine everything is. The cuts, the material is cool. Again, it's not like super high end, but it's definitely not cheap. And the prices are really good. So you get the looks, okay, without having to break the bank. But, okay, so we have two more to go. Let me show you how the next two. We've got a skirt outfit and the pants with another shirt. Another one I love. The top is cute, okay. The top is cute. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, let me show you how the pants. I'm going to back up and show you as much as I can of these pants. But they're really cute. Definitely like them. And they're fitting. <laughs> They fit, and when I lose these couple of pounds I'm working on, they're gonna be fitting even better. But let me show you. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so these are the pants. You can't see the whole pants, obviously, with this angle, but they're really, really nice. So we have one more fit, one more outfit, and then I have to pick, obviously, what I'm gonna wear. I probably am just gonna wear the last outfit for the day because it's cute, and I, I really am feeling those colors. So let's get it on. And um, I'll be right back. Y'all, this shirt, <laughs> this is cute. This is really cute. And wait till you see the skirt. I'm about to get all the colors of this. This will be nice, honestly, even in the wintertime with a blazer and some cute jeans, like some high waist jeans. Oh, I love this. The material is great. You can tell it's gonna last. Like, I'm in love. I'm so excited. I always get excited when I find new places to get nice clothes from. So this is the whole vibe. If they call me and say, we want to do a clothing haul with you, we want you to be one of our collaborators, I will be all with it. Like, oh my goodness. Also disclaimer, if I'm a little ashy, it's because I put my lotion on after. Like this stuff is all silk. So I didn't want to get oil or lotion on these clothes and then be mad that I stained them. So I don't have any lotion or anything on right now. So if you see some ash, just look past it. <laughs> but look at this skirt. Oh my goodness. Isn't this cute? Oh. Y'all. This is so girly. I'm so excited. 
So I hope you guys have liked this mini clothing haul in the middle of our vlog. Like if y'all want to do more of these, let us just know because I definitely will get some more stuff from them. I'll do my best to link all of the pieces that I ordered. But if I don't, <laughs> at minimum, I'll have the names of the items as well as the link to their website so y'all can check this out. These were not sponsored. I spent my own bag for this, okay? Um, I said I was doing a no-spin summer. <laughs> so it's almost the end of summer, like almost, I guess. I'm almost there. So, you know, you could take a little bit of a break as long as you don't break the budget and use, you like use, you know, allocated funds for stuff like this. <laughs> but with that, I'm going to go ahead and steam this outfit so I can wear it for the day and then put some lotion on, get ready, and catch up with you guys in a quick minute. Hey y'all, so I just got done taking some pictures downtown and I'm about to pick up some food for the family. There's this really dope pizza shop that's like slapping. So I'm gonna get that and then head back home. <laughs> good so we're at Kroger I'm about to get some stuff to cook I think I want to do like a drink like a really tasty drink I think I want to get some fresh strawberries and make the strawberries um, really really good so I'm gonna take the strawberries put some sugar on them um, make them like melt I don't know what the proper term is for when you put strawberries under sugar and then just put them in the fridge and they get really really juicy so i want to do that and kind of like blend them up a little bit put them in a glass put some ice in there and then put my liquor and my mix in there with it because i feel like that'll be slapping so that's what i plan to get and then we're making chicken alfredo tonight one of the fam's favorites adris the youngest baby I say baby but he's 11 but the youngest doesn't like to eat everything so I have to kind of cook what I know he's gonna eat so I'm gonna do chicken alfredo tonight um, I do have some wine but I'm making me a drink um, so I'm having a drink Brian can have some wine you know but it was supposed to rain today and it didn't end up raining so I'm actually pretty happy that the weather is really nice and it's funny like I got all dressed cute even though I'm not doing anything today but I feel like sometimes you just want to get in the mood to feel cute like it makes you feel good you know what they you know how they say look good feel good so that's kind of the vibes I'm on right now definitely feel that way I have my um my you know my wig I've been loving I've been rocking this thing probably like two three weeks but I love it so it is what it is and it's so easy um, you know, because I told you I'd be popping this thing on and popping this thing right off at night. <laughs> so it's been pretty easy, but I feel super, super cute. Also have these earrings I got from Express a while back on one of our little excursions. I think when I was in Ohio, if I'm not mistaken. So wearing those and my outfit from earlier, which I'm still like blown away at the haul. Like, oh my gosh. So I have on one of the skirts. I feel so girly, so sexy like y'all i just i love it so i think what i'm gonna do when i get home is put my cushions back out pray it doesn't rain so i can just sit out there and chill with the kids i will get bug spray though too while i'm here y'all got me thinking so i'm gonna get bug spray get the deck together make my drink make my alfredo and i think that's it so i guess let's go let's get into it Welcome valued customer. Scan it now. Made it home. <laughs> so I'm cooking Alfredo. Got my water ready. I'm trying to get it to a boil. I have my stuff that I'm about to make this drink with. So we're going to kind of experiment just a little bit and just relax. Brian should be off work here in a few minutes. So hopefully he is in the mood to kind of kick it and just hang out 
Oh my gosh, though, this mosquito got me and it hurts so bad. Like, oh. Okay, wait. This is kind of yellow. We're gonna change. Yeah, let's change this. I'll be right back. Okay, that's so much better. <laughs> it's amazing what these cameras can do. So let's go ahead and make this drink and let's make this chicken alfredo. And I'm gonna make it cinematic. Okay, so the strawberries are kind of juicy. Wait, let me see if I can focus. It's kind of bright because I have my light on. So you might not be able to see, but um, they look good. So we're gonna cut these up a little more. If you've never done this, you can eat them like this and they taste so delicious. But for this, I'm putting them in my drink. Strawberry daiquiri mix and we have some white rum, some Captain Morgan. And we're gonna mix it with our strawberries and a little bit of ice. I'll be right back. You said you are or not? Sure. You said sure. You don't have to have one if you don't want one. I wanted to try and do something different, something unique. Okay, let me show y'all real quick as I make this drink. This is so cute. I want to get on camera. I don't see the light of day. Looking up to higher ground. Thinking that'll be your sweet escape. These days got a schedule to romance. They say that love is a slow dance. A short bike ride to the crib using no hands. Oh shit, it feel like I'm floating. But I'm falling with both eyes closed when I let the world spin. Testing the water, she got my nurse tense. Back when I ain't even have a purpose. I was so eager to learn some things. Anxiety bring out the worst to me. Society paint me as enemy. My niggas making it by that remedy. I'm more occasional, don't do it regularly. Back to my eyes, weighing down heavily. Mama been worried, the devil allegedly deep in the plan. Subconsciously wanted this since I was 10. I thought I was sharp on my scroll and my pen think it did. So mama found she did them ledge. She told me that's not who I am. But nowadays I put on for the fam, see you when I can I'm surrounded by my feelings, I'm stuck on a fabric Well, I bet I perish with 140 acres She want the horse and the carriage, a portion and portion of garbage I talk to the mirror, I know that life's not the fairest I lost my can, I can't pay off the bills with the blessing I sure I relate to the red and page This feeling like money is everything Money is everything It's everything I need So Brian, how was um, dinner? It was? That's really good. Ooh. 
You know how I know you're a loyal husband? Because you always say what you're going to do and then you always ask me to help you and I do it? No. Bro, well then I don't know. Because you're loyal to your barber. You have not cheated on Walt yet. <laughs> it's been 10 years and you haven't cheated on your barber yet. You gonna wait before going to somebody else if you can't get back to Lampin. That's how you know your man loyal. If your man will cheat on his barber, then I don't know, sis. You might need to check that phone log. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> mm. This is really good. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. I'm going to put a straw on mine. But I love it. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Smooth. Really like it. Let me get the, the mix. So the mix is called Mr. and Mrs. T Made from Scratch Taste Strawberry um, Daiquiri Margarita Mix, okay? They sell it at Kroger. That's where I got mine. So if you want to try it, check it out. It's delicious. Mm. How are we going to spend time together? What are we going to do? Part of me wants to get in the hot tub and part of me really doesn't. Is it cold outside? If it's cold out, I'll do it. So I keep getting this um, fake page. Like, I swear it's the same person. They've made a fake page of my Chris and Alexis Instagram so many times. I keep having it taken down. Finally, I think they gave up, and now they've made a fake page of my Growth Stars page that I'm about to get after. I'm going to get after it. But, um, yeah, I guess they're trying to beat me to it. So they're making content over for my uh, Growth Stars page, and they've made their own it has more followers than mine, and I've had a few people message me letting me know. So I think a really good disclaimer is I would never inbox you ever asking you for money, asking you to do anything. Like, it's just not me. If you inbox me and we start a conversation, that's one thing. But even then, I'm not asking people who inbox me for nothing. So that's a huge red flag. If that happens from me or from anybody else, definitely take it as a red flag. Um, it's just very unlikely that people are going to be proactively reaching out to just random people online like you just gotta just think about that a little bit before you fall for these scams because these people is crazy they desperate we in a, a recession y'all they trying to be hustling out here they hustling hard like imagine if they use that hustle for something legit they probably be real real well they probably still getting rich because people falling for it but don't let it be you you gotta go i don't by the time i sit here while you're gone I mean, I fell asleep. Plus, the well, I did turn the tub down last night. It was hot. It was too hot. I, I had it on 100, and I was in there sweating. And you know it's hot when you're in the hot tub sweating. <laughs> you know it's hot. So, I'm going to take this wig off, even though she was looking cute today. She was looking cute today, wouldn't she be? You sound dry tonight, mister. I'm going to get you more views if I'm on your video. Why are you so dry tonight? I'm trying to have fun. Was that some fun? No, you don't seem like you want to have fun tonight. <laughs> you ready to get started on that content? I said, ask your followers how much fun you had in eight months. At eight months? What is she talking about? Because it'd be almost that due date time. Whatever. I ain't, don't play with me. Don't play with me. Ain't not gonna be no babies over here. And it's nine months. Are you trying to say you already did? You already put one in me? No. Meaning you'd be good and well pregnant by now. No. Ain't nobody getting pregnant. Don't even put that in the atmosphere. I know. Hmm? Ready have two big babies. Yeah, Kirkus would never let us have another baby. He's the baby. I was just a baby. Have you seen that? I was just a baby. That's Kirkus. Lola's a baby too. I was just a baby. I was just a baby. They're getting so excited. I was just a baby. Yes. Okay, B. 
Well, I want to get in the tub. All right, I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Hello, good morning. <clears throat> we have been chilling real hard today. Brian was playing the game. I watched this really, really good. Um, I think it's a podcast, but I watched it on, on um, YouTube. Y'all, I'm going to put the link to it in the description box. If you're into financial videos, like, it was so good. Oh, my goodness. I wish I could find my hair. Here's my phone. I'm going to tell you the name so you guys can check it out. Um, but I will put the link <clears throat> if you're interested. So let me see if I can get out of here. Hold up. The video is called Why Are You Even In The Market? And the YouTube channel is The Compound. They have a gentleman on there and he was good. Like the video was so, so, so good. Oh my goodness. So the guy's name, I think it's Joe T. Joe T. I don't know Joe's last name, but y'all will see it. But basically he was like breaking down the market, current um, trends in the market, historical data to show what has happened historically. Also, he talked a lot about the election year and how we have midterm elections and the impact to the market that that has and how historically it has had an impact. He was saying over the last 20 midterm elections, if you bought November to June, you would make money. It was green. And he said six out of the last 20 times, it was up 20% from November to June. He also said that the second year, I think second quarter, for presidents, which this is Biden's was this was Biden's second year, second quarter, was historically really bad. Which look at what we just came out of. So it was just so many things he showed, a lot of great charts, and it was like really eye opening because when I was buying buying leaps, like I told you guys, I was nervous that we were going to have another dip, and I wanted to get the in quote best price. So we bought and we took profits when we were green. The crazy thing though is it was when we look back at those leaps, like the ones I was telling y'all about, y'all the prices on those leaps right now is crazy. One of them that Avita, my friend had, she had got Amazon and I didn't buy Amazon because I was nervous. <laughs> I kept thinking Amazon was going to go lower because looking at the chart it had some really bearish formations and I just didn't feel comfortable. So I didn't buy it but Avita bought Amazon at like 600 that option that she had, the leap option she had right now is going for $4,400, which is so crazy. So it just goes to show like when you buy things with time and you hold and you buy when people are scared, like Warren Buffett's quote, which I'm pretty sure it's accurate. A lot of times I don't take, take quotes um, or I take them with a grain of salt. <laughs> But this one I tend to trust because I've seen it over and over again. But the quote says, you buy when other people are scared and you should be worried when people are greedy. Okay, so I just feel like that is so true because every time when people are scared, if I bought good companies, they always bounce. Like, it's just crazy. And I don't mind averaging down on good companies like Apple, the S&P 500, Microsoft. Because if you look where they went and where they are right now, it's, it's absolutely wild. So check that video out if you are trying to learn more about the stock market and you just are like hungry for information because that's where I am right now. Like I'm really trying to build wealth for our family. Brian and I are making some just decisions and doing things right now that we know is going to have a tremendous impact on us in the next five years, next 10 years. You know what I'm saying? So don't sleep on learning these things i know sometimes there's a lot of fear in the community that i come from around this stuff but y'all i'm gonna continue to keep beating this horse with you until you guys get on board like i'm just telling you it's wild imagine six hundred dollars to forty four hundred dollars in a few weeks like literally a few weeks that is crazy where can you invest your money and get that kind of return you know the lady that I've learned the majority of what I know from her name is Sonia I talk about Sonia all the time she just continues to teach us so much you guys like I think about where I came from and what I know now and it's wild like I thought I knew something a year ago two years ago and I know so 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 much more so don't sleep on that information these dogs are sitting here staring at me because I have crackers <laughs> and they want one so bad they keep watching me move my hand because I talk with my hand, move my hand around and they just keep staring at these crackers and looking at me like, please let me have one. <laughs> Did you know, useless fact, did you know that dogs only give puppy eyes to humans? They don't give puppy eyes to each other. They only give them to us because they do it as a way to give us to invoke sympathy on them and to do things like give them crackers. Like I'm 
giving to my dogs for being patient. <laughs> so yeah, don't fall for the puppy dog eyes because they do that so that you fall in and give them anything that they want. Like Brian said, I wouldn't do well with the big dog because I've let my little dogs literally control me and tell me what it is. And he's probably right. <laughs> he is probably right. Yes, but please watch that video. It's long though, it's like an hour and 40 minutes. Put it on when you're just like doing some stuff and let it play. Like the things they talk about when it comes to the market is so mind blowing. Like y'all, it's crazy. I'm about to be in some long 2025 leaps so I can collect the um, the profits on them boys. I look to see and then I'm gonna get off this uh, soapbox. Right now the ones that I want, I want the 500 2025 leaps. The 2024, because the 2025 haven't come out yet, but the 2024 December for the strike price I want are going for $2,800 a piece. So I'm like, if I could get like five, ten of them boys and just sit on them, y'all, the price, when you look at the ones that hit the strike and just keep going past it, they call that in the money. The in the monies be like ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, so that's how come I'm not buying bags and stuff right now because I'm trying to buy me some leaps, okay? Forget the bags. Your girl is buying leaps. I'm collecting leaps, okay? So definitely get on that, you guys. Learn, join the course. I have the course information because I don't teach, but I definitely want y'all to get into it. So with that, I have some things to do and I'm just running my mouth right now that I um, need to take care of. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Do you want me to be naked? Do I want you to be naked? Yeah. <laughs> you said what? I was about to finish my video. Let me do some things so What you about to do? Right here. Oh. Yeah, I have to record that um shaper mat. Oh, you're going grocery grocery shopping? Yeah. Right. Oh, shit. Okay, well, can I submit a couple things to, to add to that list? I would love that. I have to think about it, though, like what? So if you plan on going bowling at 6, what do you plan on doing? 7. What you going to do about dinner? You trying to eat before? Probably if we can. Okay. Okay, I love you. Oh, baby, the closet light is on. I'm not leaving. I'm going in there, bro. Oh, okay. Give me 30 seconds. Yes, I like this little angle. This might be my next, my, um, sit down, chit chat, get ready with me angle. And then I could turn my little lights on. I don't know where my phone is. Brian, can you turn the lights on, the, the headboard? Good. I don't have my phone. Yes. That's why I asked you. Get a bulldog, they say. Oh, he's mad too, cause she's up here. Oh my gosh. So he's upset because I originally went down to the first floor and then she came with me, he came with me and now me and her are up here and he's upset. He's basically like, why did y'all leave me? So yeah, bulldogs are something else. Like he, he is so funny. I like the fact that he doesn't kiss, but he is very bossy and very stubborn. You cannot tell him what to do. He is very bossy trying to tell you what to do. It's a whole mess, like it's really crazy. But anywho, I think it's time for me to close the weekly vlog. This video is getting really long and I don't want y'all to be like, oh my God, this girl done left us with too, too much to talk about and too much to watch. <laughs> but I really hope you've enjoyed the video. I feel like we talked about a lot. We got into a lot. We had a really good weekend and I'm going to start this week's weekly vlog tonight. We're supposed to be going bowling and just having a good time as a family. So I'm going to start tonight. That way I can have this video up early because I've been doing really, really bad <laughs> about getting up on time. And then I'll have the next video already started. So we won't have to do as much on the weekend and maybe I could do two videos a week because that's been my goal. 
and I haven't been able to do it. So we'll see, you know, what I'm able to get together for y'all because I just love y'all. I appreciate you and I appreciate those of you who really rock with me, who check for my videos and all that good stuff. Y'all mean the world to me. But with that, I'm about to get up out of here. I hope you guys listen to what I said too about those leaps and about investing. Like learn, 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 learn the information. Even if you don't invest, learn, learn, understand what it means. Understand what the heck I was talking about. Cause I realized when I edited that I was talking real, 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 you know, high level or not even high level. I was talking very um, in terms that I think you have to kind of understand options and all that to really get it so just learn get into it you know what i'm saying and you don't have to take sonia's course i think it would be great if you did because it's all together but youtube youtube is a great great opportunity or a great place to go to get information like this there's a lot of great people online who have all the tea and will get you all the way together if you really apply yourself but i'm getting off my soapbox now I love y'all. I appreciate you so much. I hope you have an amazing week and I will see you in my next video and my next weekly vlog. Bye. Looking for a sign that I might be with your time. Yeah. When I look into your eyes, it make me feel alive. I don't know what this is.